IBM Cloud DevOps Insights provides comprehensive visibility of data across your DevOps tools to increase speed with quality and control. Expose all of your analytics across all of your applications in a single dashboard. Mitigate risky releases by implementing gated deployment policies and measure results over time as teams react against the trends in their DevOps practices. With DevOps Insights, you can automate deployment risk analysis by aggregating data from DevOps tools like Jenkins, Travis, and Urban Code running on-premise and private, virtual private, or public cloud environments. You can add DevOps Insights to any tool chain. And Insights can aggregate data from IBM, third-party, and open-source tools. The Quality Dashboard shows test results for all of your applications giving you control of the process. You can quickly assess the status across all the tools in your pipeline. You can also configure the data to see exactly what you need. You can immediately understand how many of your applications are being tested. And you can filter on branches and application names to get an even more in-depth view of the results. For any application, you can also view quality trends over time. Here, code coverage is increasing over time, which is good. In this example, the project manager might ask why the number of tests is so variable, and why not all builds are being tested. Finally, here we see the number of critical SonarCube bugs increasing over time which is a worrying trend. Insights policies can gate deployments in the delivery pipeline, reducing the risk that poor code gets delivered. Each policy can have multiple rules, and Insight policy rules can support multiple test formats. In addition, coverage levels can be customized. For this unit test, we can add critical test cases that we know must pass before moving to the next deployment stage. We can also quickly add new policies and rules. Here we add a new rule to our policy from a wide range of tools. The policy is added as a gate during deployment. We can quickly assess the results of each policy rule. This policy has failed. Let's drill down to find out why. We can see that the unit test was successful, and by clicking here we can get more details. Similarly, code coverage passed our threshold of 50% that was set when we created the rule. However, functional verification tests were not run for this build, resulting in this policy failing. Finally, let's look at deployment frequency to understand how often our application deploys and how successfully. Let's drill down on August 30th and see why there was a failure here. We can directly navigate to the delivery pipeline, in this case in Jenkins, to investigate further. For more information or to get started with DevOps Insights, follow the link here.